What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Career Mode, this is episode number 253 and we start today's episode off by seeing that we've been given some tournament prize money for progressing into the Champions League quarterfinals. Uh, of course we beat Bayer Leverkusen on aggregate by 3 goals to 2 uh, by winning the second leg in the last game by a goal to nil at the Emirates Stadium uh, so that's pretty cool and we also see we have two international friendlies here with England uh, both were interestingly enough against Turkey uh, I'm not really sure why, I guess the FA couldn't find another country to face uh, for the two international friendlies. They just invited Turkey to stay in a hotel for another few days and uh, play them again. We won the first game and as you can see, we also won the second game as well. So obviously we always simulate international friendlies and international qualifiers. As I've mentioned before, there is actually uh, an international tournament at the end of this season. It's the World Cup 2022. However, I don't think I'll bother playing it and we'll just end the uh, end the season uh, with the, uh, the final game, whatever that is, and uh, then we'll just leave it there. So we did win those international friendlies because they're just there for show now so I've, I've contemplated just stop you know just stopping showing you those international friendlies but I think I'll just show them for show anyway because it's a trivial thing really and I guess it's nice to know that you guys can see when the international breaks occur during career mode uh, so we take on Swansea for the first of two games in today's episode here is Swansea travel to the Emirates Stadium to take us on nine games to go we are still top of the table so delighted with that as we're on to the final few games of the season now we do take on Swansea and coming to this game we definitely fancied our chances Gary Monk's side currently sitting in 14 place they're in no danger of getting relegated though so coming into the game we did really fancy our chances and the first chance would actually fall in the 14th minute here as they get themselves forward T and Dali crossing the ball to the far post Diabate has a free header and is only a few yards out but he misses the target and puts the ball over the bar and what a big chance that was for Swansea to open the scoring but he misses the target altogether a big big miss there but if you thought that miss was bad how about this in the 19th minute Serge Gnabry goes down the right hand side beats Neil Taylor shoots the former Arsenal goalkeeper Fabianski makes the save but it comes back to our German right midfielder who has an open goal he's four or five yards out and he misses the target and puts it wide what a bad miss that was by Serge Gnabry my fault obviously but even so it's still nil nil when we really should have taken the lead there and in the 41st minute Ramsey plays the ball through towards Cristiano Ronaldo quick little Ronaldo chop into a Berber spin gets taken down by Jordi Amat and the referee gives a penalty as well so Ronaldo one of only I think it was three or possibly four uh, first team players starting this game due to our Champions League quarter final first leg being played two days later uh, sorry three days later so I thought I'd rest the players because I thought we'd definitely fancy our chance coming into this game and it was still nil nil until we got this penalty here Cristiano Ronaldo wins it and again I think it was a penalty as a Matt takes him down so great chance Ronaldo to score this penalty there's no Niang on the field so Ronaldo wants to take it he won it so he's going to stand up and take it can the Portuguese forward get his first penalty goal for us in an Arsenal shirt no he can't because Lucas Fabianski pulls off the save and the Polish goalkeeper turns it behind for a corner so Ronaldo missing the penalty and it is still nil-nil. In the 53rd minute though, Kagan Holland plays a brilliant free ball towards Cristiano Ronaldo down the right-hand side. He has the pace on Neil Taylor. No one's going to catch him up. Even at 37 years old, he's got all the pace in the world and he's got a really good finish on him as well. So he acknowledges the crowd. He knows he missed a penalty. He knows he should have scored it, but he wasn't going to miss that chance. Really good opportunity on the one-on-one -on -one and he couldn't miss. And also as well, look at the Swansea defenders here. Yeah, one of the Swansea defenders runs into the other one and gets taken down. But that was pretty funny. But uh, still, it's Arsenal 1, Swansea 0. Ronaldo's fifth goal in the Premier League since joining Arsenal and we do go one goal up in this game as you can see here though from a free kick we pass out from the right hand side and Lezzarini's on the ball for us the left back plays it through towards Joel Campbell down the left hand side he's running at March he keeps holding the ball plays a brilliant chip through ball towards Welbeck though who wins the header heads it past Fabianski and does make it Arsenal 2 Swansea nil. so a really good finish by Danny Welbeck there a lovely floated ball by Joel Campbell just L1 triangle that through didn't really intend it for, to go that high but it did Welbeck wins the header and puts it past Fabianski and makes it Arsenal 2 Swansea nil. So we'd definitely be fancying our chances of now of uh, going on to get the three points. Welbeck making it 2-0 there, giving ourselves a cushion. And other than the one chance Diabate had for Swansea in the opening few minutes, they didn't really do too much in this game. They sort of sat back a lot. They played a really sort of deep game in terms of their defensive uh, pressure. They didn't really put us under too much pressure and high press us. They just sort of sat back. And that sort of allowed us to just sort of pass that way forward, retain possession and get ourselves chances every now and then. Had another good one there, but Fabianski made the save. And it was a pretty routine game, to be honest. But you just think, 
you know, had Diabate scored that goal in the first few minutes and made it 1-0 to Swansea, the pan of that game could have changed massively. But it didn't. We got the win. Pretty delighted with that. And we're just eight games to go now. We are still top of the table by three points. So it's it's going to be tight. It's going to be tough. I don't see West Bromwich Albion losing pace on us for the remaining uh, the remainder of the season and the remaining few games. But even so, we are in the driving seat right now. Of course, if we win our remaining eight games, no matter what West Brom do, we will still be crowned champions. So that's, I guess, some uh, really positive stuff to hold on to. Uh, still following that, we had ourselves a scouting update from our scout currently based in England. Are you scouting for some players? Obviously, just like the international friendlies I showed you at the start of the episode, that's pretty much all trivial now. But even so, I'm going to continue to show it just because it's kind of nice to just show when it occurs in the game, I guess. And we take on Real Madrid, 42nd and final game of today's episode here as we travel to the Bernabeu. So, of course, we took on Bayer Leverkusen in the Champions League round of 16. We got through it by three goals to two on aggregate. So, coming to this game against Real Madrid, obviously, you'd think they're a stronger opponent. However, it is worth noting that we did knock out Real Madrid last season in the Champions League round of 16 stage. Relatively comfortably, we won both at home and away as well. So, I wasn't really as fearful as you'd expect coming into this game at the Bernabeu. The first chance would fall to Real Madrid, though. Benzema's header was well stopped by Carboni, and we managed to get the ball away. So, good save by the goalkeeper there as the opening chance came to the home side. From that, though, we tried to get ourselves up the pitch, but Savani gets tackled by Carbajal. Ramsey plays it back to him. Kevin Savani goes down the left hand side, takes it around Luka Modric with a double step over, gets himself past Derek as well, shoots, and Kevin Savani does make it Real Madrid nil. Arsenal won 11 minutes in here at the Bernabeu. But I will say this of course, you'd notice that Ronaldo is returning to, uh, to the Bernabeu in this game for the first time since leaving in January. But there's another player that used to play for an opponent coming into this game. That's uh, Chesney playing for Real Madrid. Of course, the former Arsenal goalkeeper. We sold him in the summer. I sold him because he just made too many mistakes. And, you know, I, I have to say, I think that's another one right there. I know Savani is quite close to the goalkeeper, but it's pretty much straight at him and he seems to move his body out of the way. So Savani makes it 1-0, but I really do feel Chesney should have saved that one, but he didn't. And it's Real Madrid 0, Arsenal 1, just 11 minutes in. So the perfect start to this game. But how about this? Just right from kickoff, Tony Crows plays a lazy pass towards Marcelo. Cristiano Ronaldo runs onto it, intercepts, crosses the ball in, and in the centre, and by Niang turns it in. I actually thought it was a Niang goal. Turns out it was actually an own goal through Carvajal, though. And it's Real Madrid 0, Arsenal 2. And within about 15 seconds in real time, can't have been longer than that from the kickoff, Real Madrid are now two goals down. So a terrible, terrible, terrible pass that was by Tony Crows. Carvajal does get credit with the own goal. I thought it was just a deflection. Uh, Niang was going to claim it, but it go down as an own goal by Carvajal. But it's Real Madrid 0, Arsenal 2. And the home side, just, you know, from, from being goalless, from almost taking the lead through the shot which Car uh, sorry header Carboni saved, you know, to being two goals down in just a couple of in-game uh, minutes is just absolutely terrible. And it could have been 3-0 in the 23rd minute. Cristiano Ronaldo looking to score against his former club, denied by a really good save by Chesney, and he turns it behind for a corner. So still 2-0, but we did have a really fast start to this game. We were looking really, really strong. Ranger did have a couple of good chances, which Carboni made saves for. We were looking the better side here as things stood in Madrid. In the 32nd minute, Savani goes down the left-hand side, takes it around Tony Crows, crosses the ball in, and had it not been for an absolutely superb stop by Chesney, desperate to prove me wrong for why I sold him, he makes a really good save denying uh, Sterling for making it 3-0. So still 2-0 in this game from the corner. It's headed off the line by Carvajal, then Luke Garbutt's strike goes just off target and behind for a goal kick. So the pressure we were putting on Real Madrid's goal was just relentless in the first half. They were having chances themselves. Carboni had already been called into action two times to make two really good saves. And in the 37th minute, how about this? The cross comes in, Bale flicks it on, and this shot hits the post, but Carboni, I mean, yes, I know some games this season in his debut year for us, he's been pretty poor, but what about this for a save? This is probably the best save I've seen in career mode this year. Absolutely extraordinary stop by Carboni, keeping us two goals up. A wonderful save by the Italian, and it is still Roundger nil, Arsenal 2. In the 41st minute, though, Roundger would actually gather themselves a goal back in this game to make it 2-1. Bale's shot was blocked, but it fell straight to James Rodriguez, who tapped it into the open goal and made it 2-1. So, pretty unfortunate there. Carboni was unlucky because he did get a touch on the Bale shot. It was then deflected by Murray Williams, I think it was, but unfortunately, it fell straight to Rodriguez, who had pretty much an open goal to aim at, and the Colombian was not going to miss. So 2-1 going into the break. So we were still leading this game. We still had two away goals, which is really nice, but disappointed to throw away a goal to give Roundy the route back into the game. And in the 62nd minute here, Gareth Bale goes down the right-hand side, takes it around uh, Ryan Saar and Luke Garbutt, plays the ball inside towards Isco. His first shot hits the post, but the second one comes straight back to him, and he uh, taps in the rebound and makes it Real Madrid 2, Arsenal 2. So Isco getting two bites of the cherry there, and he does succeed at the second attempt. Hits the post, and sadly, it comes straight back to 
them and he's not going to miss at the second time of asking. Squeezing it at the near post and making it 2-2. So twice, you know, twice in two consecutive first round ties. Uh, sorry, uh, first leg ties even. First against Bayer Leverkusen, now against Real Madrid. We were leading by two goals to nil and we surrendered that two goal lead and it's now 2-2. So terrible for me to do it in two consecutive Champions League ties. However, in the 75th minute, we would actually do something we didn't do against Bayer Leverkusen in the first leg at that round of 16 tie and that was score again and Bayern Yang made it Real Madrid 2 Arsenal 3 as he was played forward and the French forward was just not going to miss this one he had one goal taken away from him in the first half it went down as an own goal through Carvajal he said you know forget about that I'm going to score this one this one's definitely going to go down as my goal he puts it past his former teammate Chesney makes it Real Madrid 2 Arsenal 3 and with 15 minutes to go we do retake the lead and I felt deservedly so as well and in the 85th minute it could have been 4-2 as we go on the break here Ronaldo plays it that wide towards Danny Welbeck off the bench Welbeck has the energy to run at Isco instead he holds it up and finds Sterling Sterling finds Lassie off the bench great chance uh, great chance for him to score his first goal in the Champions League for us but sadly it hits the post and goes behind for a goal kick but it was how the game would finish Real Madrid 2 Arsenal 3 so we get the job done really pleased to get the win in that game and again we almost threw it away just like the Bayer Leverkusen game but to have three away goals and to be leading by a goal on aggregate as well means that Real Madrid will have to score two goals at the Emirates Stadium and we are in a really healthy position going into the second leg at the Emirates Stadium but as always guys a big thank you for watching the video I really do hope you have enjoyed it if you enjoyed the episode then please do leave a like and i'll see you for the next episode of career mode very soon